This is the GIS News Hour for Tuesday, 30th August. I am Leslie Ann Johnson. In the headlines, Kirani James stuns the world with victory in the 400 meters in Daegu, national celebratory event in the works to recognize his achievement. Phase one of financial complex construction project to begin this week and review of Grenada's minimum wage legislation to begin on Wednesday. Details are next. online at your favorite stores around the world and your package will be delivered to your doorstep right here in Grenada. The Grenada Postal Corporation brings you closer to the rest of the world with GPC Global. GPC Global is a new, exciting, and cost-effective service. For less than $20 US, you can have your own personal mailbox in the US and off you go shopping. You can view your shipment as it moves 24-7 with up-to-the-minute tracking. Make your purchase and GPC Global will do the rest, even customs clearance. We make it easy and hassle-free. GPC Global, the world at your fingertips. Dependable, reliable, and safe. Sometimes, the simplest joys in life can be the most rewarding. For quality sexual and reproductive health care services, make the GPPA your next stop. Visit our offices at St. George's and Grenville. Call 440-3341 or 442-5442 for more information. The Grenada Planned Parenthood Association, promoting healthy living. Welcome back, viewers. Kirani James stunned the world with victory in the men's 400 meters in Daegu, South Korea on Tuesday. The young athlete, who celebrates his 19th birthday in two days, was pushed all the way by LaShawn Merritt of the United States before winning in a time of 44.60 seconds. Merritt clocked 44.63 to take the second spot. Details from Trevor Thwaites. Mary clocked 44.62 seconds in second position. Prime Minister the Honorable Chilman Thomas and Sports Minister Patrick Simmons watched the race at the PM's office. Whatever happens here, Karani James certainly a big name in the future, I'm sure. But Merritt going to defend his world title. Away they go, Gonzalez got a brilliant start there. Took a couple of meters out of merit in about the first 20. And Karani James has gone off very steadily indeed. And Kevin Borle, the European champion, is having quite a good run, but so is Tabare Henry outside him. And now Merritt begins to charge. He's running down James outside him. He's going to run this third 100 very quickly indeed. That's what he always does. And Roddale Bartholomew gaining on Gonzalez. Now what has Merritt got left? Merritt comes into the home straight. But Karani James is coming back at the American. Karani James is eating up the ground. James is going to win it. The defending champion is beaten. An 18-year-old has won the World Championship 400-meter final. The reaction was tremendous. Prime Minister Thomas extended warm congratulations to Kirani and the Grenada team. I think Kirani has made all of us proud. It's a good inspiration to our nation, in particular our young people. And uh, whatever support, we'll continue giving him that support. It's really a, a proud moment for us and we are very happy about it. And uh, we're looking forward to greater things from Kirani. And Rondell Bartholomew, yes, Rondell too. I want to congratulate Kirani and also Rondell for, you know, putting Grenada on the map. They have really made us, you know, popularize Grenada and we are proud of them. And as I say, we are looking forward to greater things from 
both of them. Prime Minister Tillman Thomas, uh, similar sentiments were echoed by Sports Minister Patrick Simmons. Uh, I want to take the opportunity to congratulate um, the athletes and also the coaches and the, the, the schools that they would have been associated with because it's, it's, a, it's a combination of, it's a combination of, of um, stakeholders that would have been responsible for what we are seeing here today. And in fact, Conrad, the coordinator of sports, did make a, a point last night that I really want to expound on, and that of the, um, the program. He, he made the point that the program that we, are, that we are now reaping benefits from would have started about 20 years ago. And we are now seeing you know, the fruits of, 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 that, um, of that program. So, Prime Minister Thomas and Sports Minister Simmons later joined up with the people of Gov for a carnival like celebration. Hundreds were on the lands and gun battle for the occasion. I'm very happy to be part of this celebration here. I want to congratulate Kirani and also congratulate Rondell and to congratulate all those who gave support and assistance, especially his parents and the community here. This has really put Grenada on the map and uh, we are very proud to be part of this historic occasion. Any incentives? Uh, talk, talk about any incentives? Oh, definitely. We, we, we won't go into detail, but definitely there will be incentives. We, we're going to give some incentives. And, um, how does it feel to see the people just uh, spontaneously? No, well, it's very really like good this. to see the people coming out in support and solidarity with Kirani. I mean, it is a real great occasion and this community in particular. We're really glad to be here with them in that celebratory mode. And it's good to see you on the ground pack, Prime Minister. It's good to well, see that's you. it. I'm very pleased to be here with them, you know. Nice, sir. Okay, thank you. We want to come on, to jump up. Give us a day. Give us a day. Give us a day. Prime Minister Tillman Thomas, uh, Sports Minister Simmons, was thrilled especially for the last part of the race. Well, actually, at that, the last 50 meters, I'll, who I was really looking at, it was Rondell. I was looking at Rondell during that, that period of time because if you realize that he was right there with that group, I know that Kirani was someone would have taken care of himself. So I was more concerned about Rondell. So what happened at the end, I was not really surprised with the way Rand um, Kirani came through because if you look at the heats or the preliminaries and the semifinals, you realize what he did for the finals is the same thing he did during that time. Whereas Rondell would have run hard from the word go. So I was more concerned about Rondell and not Kirani. For the 6.0, for the 4.06, yeah. fantastic race. Excellent, yeah, excellent timing, excellent timing. And I thought it's the best for the, for the year thus far. Sports Minister Patrick Simmons. I am Trevor Fitz reporting for the GIS NewsHour. A national celebratory event is in the works to recognize the success of 400-meter star athlete Karani James. This was announced by Prime Minister the Honorable Tillman Thomas on Tuesday after the former GBS student won the gold medal in the 400-meter race at the IAAF World Championships in South Korea. The national celebration will be held when the athletes Karani, Rondel Bartholomew and Janelle Redhead return home. Prime Minister Thomas says the performance of both Karani and Rondel clearly points to what the nation can achieve with discipline, hard work and commitment towards achieving goals. So on this patriotic moment, when we are all inspired and motivated as a people, I urge that we use this occasion to unite and commit towards making Grenada a better place for all. In keeping with our new sporting policy, which speaks to the appropriate recognition and rewarding of our sporting icons your government will shortly be announcing tangible actions in this regard. At the appropriate time, on the return of our athletes, we will be hosting a national celebratory event. The Grenadian leader added that the two 400-meter finalists achieved great things for this small island and must be highly commended. They did not disappoint us. They have so far performed admirably. They demonstrated tremendous heart motivation, and a character. To have two finalists in the 400 meters was indeed a remarkable achievement for a small country as Grenada. In the case of Kirani, the strength and determination displayed to achieve his victory was exemplary. He demonstrated the true Grenadian spirit of tenacity, endurance, and will. They have made us extremely proud. They have demonstrated in a very real way, what is necessary for national achievement at the world level. 
This is the standard and performance levels that all Grenadians should aspire toward. As a nation, we need to emulate these outstanding Grenadians. Following the race on Tuesday, the Prime Minister called the athletes in South Korea to extend his congratulations. Good afternoon, Rondell. Yeah, well, Prime Minister Thomas, I just called to congratulate you, you know. I mean, it's a very historic and, uh, you know, joyous moment for us, and we are very proud of uh, what you all are doing to really put Grenada on the map. We're in a very good, I mean, a celebrate. I say we're in a celebratory mood down here, and we really, uh, you know, I want to congratulate you all on the performance, especially having two finalists in the in this 400 meter is something really great for Grenada. So we are very happy about this and we wish you all the best. While Girani's victory has been described as magnificent for many people, the fact that the young athlete did not have a flag upon completion of his race was a cause for concern. The secretary of the Grenada Olympic Association, Mrs. Vida Bruno Victor, explained to the Government Information Service that the flags draped around the winning athletes are usually thrown to them by spectators or family members. In the first instance, our flags must be there. Two flags are sent to the, to the organizers along with the national anthem because you have to have it because you don't know who is going to really win. So you have to bring your flags. It is, it is something all now for the Olympic Games, the flags are already in London with the anthem. So when a person wins, the spectators, they're so excited, everybody just heave down flags. And that is what they take and wrap around them. So it is not that if we, we didn't want the boy to... Kirani, we would have loved for him to have not one, but be about four. But it just happened that we had nobody there to heave down any flags to him. So let us not lose sight of the victory and what it means for our country. And let us forget about whether or not the flag was there. It is important. I don't want us to lose sight that it would have not have been nice. It would have been the best thing to have there. But do we lose in sight and taking on everything is about the flag. Let us remember that he won and he put an island on the map. And it is important because it's going to motivate our young people to continue to work hard so that they can also achieve. Mrs. Bruno Victor says what transpired following Kirani's victory is no fault of the government. What does the government have to do with this? This is an athletic association event. It is a World Athletics Championship. It has nothing to do with the government. So the government don't give people flag to go nowhere with. People know because it is a requirement of every big championship that you bring two flags and all flags were there. We would see it flying on Thursday. The prize given ceremony is on Thursday and I think everybody should look and let us sing and we should be happy. We proud it was such a glorious moment. It is at seven and we all going to see and we're going to be happy. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Flag, no flag, we win. We won. What an achievement. Secretary of the Grenada Olympic Committee, Mrs. Vida Bruno Victor. In other news, phase one of the financial complex construction project is scheduled to start on Wednesday with a projected completion date of December 6. The first phase of phase one advanced works comprises construction of 350 linear feet of concrete drain and replacing the current earthen drain which runs through the site. The work is being undertaken by contractor Donald's Garage and Trucking Services. Key design features of the project include the deployment of smart green building technology, hazard mitigation, a building management system to provide efficient control of energy consumption and security and fire detection. The Lothers Lane Government Office Complex will accommodate six independent government departments, including the Government Archives, Public Service Commission, the Electoral Office and the Office of the Ombudsman. We take a break. We'll be right back. Hats off to the men in boots. They've heard your cries for fresh, sweet, homegrown bananas, just like the good old days. 
So get yours today for a healthier you, loaded with goodness, fresh, homegrown bananas, available on sidewalks, supermarkets, shops, and at the nation's number one retailer of fresh, top quality local fruits and vegetables, the Marketing and National Importing Board. Welcome home, local bananas, and remember, hats off to the men in boots, our nation's farmers. Continuing the news, the ongoing review of Grenada's minimum wage legislation takes a major step forward on Wednesday. A meeting on the issue will be held from 1.30 p.m. at the annex of the Grenada Trade Center. The session, which specifically targets men and women who work as security guards, will involve Labor Minister Glennis Roberts and other officials of the Ministry of Labor, as well as various stakeholders. Minister Roberts says they hope to have a minimum wage bill soon and the security guards will be among workers to be affected by it. The Grenada Postal Corporation, GPC, has been highly commended for keeping the service afloat in the face of many challenges. Works Minister Joseph Gilbert, under whose ministry the GPC falls, made the statement against the background of reports that the United States Postal Service, or USPS, is planning to eliminate more than 200,000 full-time jobs within the next four years. Added to that, some 300,000 some 300 USPS processing facilities could be closed as part of a proposal to bring the corporation's finances in order. This comes as a result of challenges faced by postal services worldwide, where there are falling mail volumes as people communicate increasingly by email. Though the situation is much the same in Grenada, the local postal service has managed to keep its head above water and has remained viable. We in Grenada, we indeed are very pleased Unfortunate not to have had any cuts so far um, by the Grenada Postal Co Co Corporation. And as such, um, I, I thought it was quite fitting for me to commend the efforts of the Board of Directors and the management of the GPC for the work they have been doing to diversify the services that, is, that, are, that are provided by the Postal Corporation. Um, one wouldn't say that we are, we, are, we, are, we are doing extremely well, but indeed we are doing well. Um, we have not had the cause to cut any job. Nobody, no one has lost their job so far um, as a result of downsizing in the GPC. It has been diversifying its services in an effort to give customers a wider range of products to choose from. A new brand called GPC Global was recently launched giving customers the opportunity to shop online and have their goods delivered at their doorstep in 48 hours. Mr. Gilbert says things have been tough for the corporation, but it has held the fort. It's a trend that will continue for quite some time in that we'll have less and less um, um, persons using the tra traditional mail and more and more persons the, um, using um, uh, the, the internet. To, to communicate and so we are not not yet out of the woods in terms of um, finding new ways and means to raise revenue to maintain a viable service so indeed we have to be cautious even as we, we speak um, we cannot see that um, what is happening in the United States wouldn't happen here but indeed, so far, we have been doing pretty well to um, remain quite viable and especially to maintain um, the workforce intact without having to send home any, any person that is born in time. So the Works Minister added that his ministry has been assisting the GPC to stay afloat during these tough times and will continue to do so. Recently, we have, we have um, been able to um, grant them uh, their request with respect to an, a slight increase in the in the in the in the um, postage postage of of um, mails and so on locally um, that will help to cushion the effect of um, a loss of revenue due to uh, 
male in general and we believe that will that will go a long way in terms of cush of cushioning the effect that we have had so far with the reduction in the volumes that's news sports is up next <laughs> Disaster management is about every one of us being ready to manage any natural or man-made event, like earthquakes, tsunamis, fires, oil spills, volcanoes. It's about having your home or business prepared with an emergency plan and supplies. It's prevention, keeping your home, business, or community well-maintained and safe. It's about being able to get your life back on track after the event. Will you be ready? Visit WeReady.org, brought to you by Sodima and the European Union. I know when I see the gutted get it sign, I won't be judged. So I don't feel stressed or guilty about protecting myself. I can buy condoms without any pressure. The yellow and black sign, it means this is a cool place where me and my girl can get condoms and we can be safe every time. I like the fact that they are looking out for me because I'm trying to look out for myself. Before, I used to be very nervous and now everything's cool. Athletics uh, dominates the evening sports. Hello, I'm Trevor Thwaites, and what do you know? It's Colors Day today in Grenada, and uh, Karani James created history as he won the men's 400 meters in a, in, a, in a, not a record time, but an outstanding time today. And it was not surprising because uh, James was strongly re represented as uh, Karani and Rondell, Bartholomew Wood from the Spice Hall, they were strongly represented. They strongly represented the country as they fled to as uh, Kirani fled to victory, with Kirani having clocked a time of 44.61 seconds and Rondell 45 or 44.65. There was plenty of conviction in the Spice Hall that one could win. A group of uh, uh, the GIS was among thousands who watched the race early this morning, with Kirani clocking 44.61 seconds and Rondell. 44.65 seconds, there was plenty of conviction that one would prevail. A group at the GIS was among thousands who watched the race this morning. Whatever happens here, Karani James, certainly a big name in the future, I'm sure. But Merritt going to defend his world title. Away they go, Gonzalez got a brilliant start there. Took a couple of meters out of merit in about the first 20. And Karani James has gone off very steadily indeed. And Kevin Borle, the European champion, is having quite a good run, but so is Tabare Henry outside him. And now Merritt begins to charge. He's running down James outside him. He's gonna run this third 100 very quickly indeed. That's what he always does. And Roddell Bartholomew gaining on Gonzalez. Now what has Merritt got left? Merritt comes into the home straight, but Karani James is coming back at the American. Karani James is eating up the ground. James is gonna win it. The defending champion is beaten. An 18 year old has won the world championship 400 meter final. The response of the GIS and around the country was ecstatic. I'm indeed proud to be a Grenadian right now, and I want to say that to the whole wide world. You go, Kirani! I want to say how proud I am of what Kirani has done to us in Grenada and the world on the whole. I want to ask him to keep it up, and all Grenadians and everybody join with him and let us celebrate. Long overdue that Grenada finally get the recognition on the international scene that little Grenada can produce a world champion. That's really, really great for all of us. The last 25, 20 seconds, big race. Well, very big race. I know Kirani has a heart of a champion, and once he comes down to the last 20 meters, you know Kirani is going to will, will himself to victory. 
and it was a really great feeling showing the spirit and determination of the Grenadian people. Prime Minister Durant Tillman Thomas and Sports Minister Patrick Simmons praised the performances of the local athletes at the games. So I think Kirani has made all of us proud. It's a good inspiration to our nation, in particular our young people. And uh, whatever support, we'll continue giving him that support. It's really a, a proud moment for us, and, and we are very happy about it. And uh, we're looking forward to greater things from Kirani. And Rondell. And Rondell Botolom, yes, Rondell too. I want to congratulate Kirani and also Rondell for, you know, putting Grenada on the map. They have really made us, you know, popularize Grenada, and we are proud of them. And as I say, we are looking forward to greater things from both of them. I want to take the opportunity to congratulate um, the athletes and also the coaches and the, the, the schools that they would have been associated with because it's, it's, a, it's a combination of, it's a combination of, of um, stakeholders that would have been responsible for what we are seeing here today. And in fact, Conrad, the coordinator of sports, did make a, a point last night that I really want to expound on, and that of the, um, the program. He's, he made the point that the program that we, are, that we are now reaping benefits from would have started about 20 years ago. And we are now seeing you know, the fruits of, 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 that, um, of that program. Well, there were big celebrations in Kirani's hometown of Guav this morning as hundreds took to the streets to salute their hero. <laughs> Grenadian to me heart, a patriotic, and I'm walking in Guam now. And from the time I come, I say, well, I forget to walk for at least a half an hour to celebrate with the people of Guam. Big race, man. Tell me about the race. Well, I think, um, yeah, I think it was a very good race for Kirani. Trevor, it was a very good race. I think that was the best race he ever ever run. Glad for the boy, and first time for Grenada, cool. Right, we're glad for him and let the people enjoy themselves. Right. I hope the government do something good for him when he coming back. Not only last time when he coming back and his parents was outside the airport and they take them inside. Okay? That's all I had to say. Are you happy? I'm happy. Happy for government. Let, let, let the jump up continue. Good. Still wondering if, if I'm awake or you know if it's true. If it's true. Yeah, it's true. I, I I know he could do it. I never I never I never once. Yeah, I mean the thought never came across my mind that he cannot do it. He's a incredible youth, talented. I shouldn't say talented because he work he work he work hard. He, he's not born gifted. He work hard from primary school come up. So I, I just know the effort and thing. I know you have heart. You have belly. It was a particularly special moment for the people of Gun Battle, where Kalan Kirani hails from. I feel good to know, God, to know Kirani to come out in Gun Battle like a youth kid, and we are proud about that every time. Big up Gun Battle. Yeah, man, we're proud of Kirani James, man. Every time. We're proud of the Virgin as soon as the soil is making Grenada proud. It's nice to be Grenada proud in the world. Green to the, green to the world forever. Spice is the best. And back to the world. Yes, Kirani yes. eat the fig and salt fish. Real yes. fish, boy. We right came for you. Right, 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 it was a truly touching win for his mother and James, who was consumed by the occasion. I'm very really excited and very proud and happy and blessed at this moment. Are you expecting that? You have a great boy. Yes, of course. You have a great boy there. Yeah. I mean, what is he made of? <laughs> What is he made of? Well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Special, something special, something special. Guava fish. Yeah, fish, the oil dung. 
the fish, the oil down, and everything else. Another one consumed by the occasion and happy at the result of the race was his brother Gary James. Gary was expecting the victory. There wasn't any doubt in my mind because I know Kieran is a person and I know he hates to lose. So there wasn't any doubt in my mind. I was kind of uh, concerned because uh, Merritt seems to be having him going to the last about uh, 70, 80 meters and there was a real fight there. I knew the race would come down to that and I knew once they came up the street and they were close, Kieran was going to win. So I had no doubt whatsoever. And I was confident as anybody could be. And you're loving what you see in the, the excitement, the response. Of course, this is go off. <laughs> and that's how we do it. <laughs> Prime Minister Thilman Thomas among the hundreds caught up in the excitement in Guav. And I'm very happy to be part of this celebration here. I want to congratulate Kirani and also congratulate Rondell and to congratulate all those who gave support and assistance, especially his parents and the community here. This has really put Grenada on the map and uh, we are very proud to be part of this historic occasion. Any incentives? Uh, talk, talk about any incentives? Uh, definitely. We, we, we won't go into detail, but definitely there will be incentives. We, we're going to give some incentives. And, uh, we, how does it feel to see the people Kirani? just uh, spontaneously? No, well, it's very really like good this. to see the people coming out in support and solidarity with Kirani. I mean, it is a real great occasion and this community in particular. We're really glad to be here with them in that celebratory mood. And it's good to see you on the ground pack, Prime Minister. It's good to well, see that's you. it. I'm very glad to be here with them, you know. Nice, huh? Okay, thank you. Jump up! Give us a day! Give us a day! Give us a day! The sports minister, Patrick Simmons, was also there. Well, actually, at that, the last 50 meters, I'll, who I was really looking at, it was Rondell. I was looking at Rondell during that, that period of time because if you realize that he was right there with that group, I know that Kirani was someone who would have taken care of himself. So I was more concerned about Rondell. So what happened at the end, I was not really surprised with the way Rand um, Kirani came through because if you look at the heats or the preliminaries and the semifinals, you realize what he did for the finals is the same thing he did during that time. Whereas Rondell would have run hard from the word go. So I was more concerned about Rondell and not Kirani. For the 6.0, for the 4.06, yeah. fantastic race. Excellent, yeah, excellent timing, excellent timing. And I thought it's the best for the, for the year thus far. There is big hype in the country at this time, and we understand that the many more, that many more will converge and go off later this evening for the celebrations that will be taken up a notch. We understand too that the celebrations would go well into the weekend. The exploits of Kirani and others at the Games were hailed by Prime Minister Tillman Thomas in a national address. They demonstrated tremendous heart, motivation and a character. To have two finalists in the 400 meters was indeed a remarkable achievement for a small country as Grenada. In the case of Kirani, the strength and determination displayed to achieve his victory was exemplary. He demonstrated the true Grenadian spirit of tenacity, endurance, and will. They have made us extremely proud. They have demonstrated in a very real way what is necessary for national achievement at the world level. This is the standard and performance levels that all Grenadians should aspire toward. Prime Minister the Honorable Tillman Thomas, a very special and historic moment as Grenada wins its first medal at the World Athletic Championships. Karate James is eating up the ground. James is going to win it. That's how it happened on Colors Day here on Tuesday today as Kirani James won the 400 meters in the men's competition at the World Athletic Championships in Daegu, South Korea. I am Trevor Thwaites. Goodbye.
told me it would be easy, that I would make a lot of money. You said no one would ever suspect me of trafficking drugs. You never said if I got caught, I could go to jail for up to 15 years. You never said my children would grow up without me and my parents could die before I got out of jail. You made me lie to my family. You said it was easy money for me and my children. You helped me put drugs inside my body. You never said if one of the bags in my stomach burst, I could die. You have a choice. Don't be anyone's drug mule. Sponsored by the Government of Grenada and the European Union. Telephone 440-7911. As a responsible mother, I would not be caught off guard for this hurricane season. Mr. Ivan and Miss Emily taught my family and I a serious lesson. Them long lines in the burning hot sun, asking for handouts, not me again, not me again. So I am shopping very early for the supplies my family needs for this active season. Join with me and do the same. In closing, a reminder of some programming items on GIS TV, Tuesday's Spice Morning will be repeated at 7 p.m. to be followed by a national address by Prime Minister the Honorable Tillman Thomas congratulating Grenadian athletes including world 400-meter champion Kirani James. Our Tuesday night programming also includes another live broadcast of the Sports Forum and a repeat of the News Hour. Among the guests on Wednesday's Spice Morning a former netball, former national netballer Vida Bruno Victor, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Sports. Other guests include Tammy Martin, Kenneth Noel, Rafael Joseph, and Dwayne Best. Tune in to GIS TV for educational and informative programs Sunday through Saturday. Recapping the main points, Kirani James stuns the world with victory in the 400 meters in Daegu, South Korea. National celebratory event in the works to recognize the young athlete's achievement. Phase 1 of financial complex construction project to begin this week. And review of Grenada's minimum wage legislation continues on Wednesday. That is the GIS News Hour. On behalf of all those who made it possible, we thank you for viewing. We now end with another look at the race with Kirani James. Away they go. Gonzalez got a brilliant start there. Took a couple of meters out of merit in about the first 20. And Karani James has gone off very steadily indeed. And Kevin Borle, the European champion, is having quite a good run, but so is Tabare Henry outside him. And now Merritt begins to charge. He's running down James outside him. He's going to run this third 100 very quickly indeed. That's what he always does. And Roldale Bartholomew gaining on Gonzalez. Now what has Merritt got left? Merritt comes into the home straight. But Karani James is coming back at the American. Karani James is eating up the ground. James is going to win it. The defending champion is beaten. An 18-year-old has won. watching the Government Information Service, channels 12 and 22.